Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and welcome to another Fragrance First Impressions. I know I did one yesterday, I usually try to intersperse my first impressions with my fragrance list and or my fragrance individual reviews, but I'm doing two in a row today just because I, the way that these came in and I really wanted to get these out to you, I was really excited to pick these up. They are not brand new, they've been out for a little while, but I have all of them here with me and so I want to go ahead and get right into it and show them to you. And so what we're talking about today is Salvatore Ferragamo's Uomo line. Some people say Uomo, 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 however you want to say it. Probably Uomo is the best. U-O-M-O. -O. Now I did feature this in my best of winter fragrances and I, I still stand by Womo Signature as being an incredible, fantastic, almost gourmand wonder. This is a fantastic winter fragrance. It is going to be in my list of fragrances that I will miss wearing for spring and summer of 2020. But the bottle design and everything is, I was excited to get these in because it's the same bottle design and I really like this. Some people might think it's cheesy to feature the Ferragamo fractured on the side as it were, but I like it looks like art to me it's kind of cool in particular and in order in which they came out there's the Ferragamo Womo there is the Ferragamo Womo casual life and then there was the final flanker at least to my knowledge correct me if I'm wrong in the comments Ferragamo Womo urban feel so without further ado let's get right into them stay tuned <music> Okay, welcome back. The first one we're gonna try of Salvatore Ferragamo Womo. And I will show you the box. Let me get the cellophane off. I will stop recording from here and I'll pick back up when the cellophane's off. All right guys, this box, the Salvatore Ferragamo Womo, features black and silver. On the very top of the box, I will show you Salvatore Ferragamo. The very bottom of the box features the UPC and batch code, as is normal. The very front of the box features the Ferragamo that is also down the sides of the bottle themselves and on the back you've got silver another UPC code and just some additional product information with Salvador Ferragamo signature let's get into that box interested to get the bottle out this one I believe is relatively clear now it's interesting apparently there was some confusion and there still is if you read the forums about how to spray this on some people are think that I, I don't know what's wrong with my bottle it, it's missing the cap it's missing the lid I don't know how to spray this on well if you if you didn't buy if you got a decan or if you bought the bottle elsewhere here are the instructions on the very top you can't really I don't know if you can see that you can't really miss how to spray this on shouldn't be that hard but I'm gonna give you an example of that now I, I do like these very similar to signature I really like these here because you you pop this off it is a catcher it prevents you from actually spraying accidentally and just kind of wasting your juice it prevents it if you've ever seen a fire extinguisher it has a little pin on them similar to this and that pin is to prevent you from setting off the fire extinguisher accidentally spraying someone or some something same thing same thing with this so you literally just pop that off like that and it's ready to go okay and it's ready to go now I really do like this presentation I'll show you Salvatore Ferragamo lid down the sides of the bottle I'll, I'll feature it like this and the other side and the very bottom and the very bottom of the bottle see that so pretty cool now I haven't smelled this but I have heard good things about it I haven't really watched any reviews about this I do know that it does have tiramisu in it I'm expecting to smell that tiramisu let's go ahead and spray it on right now I'm gonna spray it on my wrist now these sprayers spray a good bit of juice you only need a couple one or two blasts and you are set oh wow okay I've probably already made up my mind I really really like this It's very warm it's not really gourmand it does have a sense of gourmand without the sweetness so you do have that you've got ambroxan 
you've got that nice freshly ground coffee smell it's a little bit on the on the brighter side instead of like the deep roasted it's like a brighter greener coffee bean smell You've got the tiramisu note and it's just a really bright and that ambroxan brings it the ambroxan kind of modernizes it okay it makes it more masculine something that you would you could wear to the office you could wear on a date uh, you could wear casually you could wear formally so it, to me this smell has a very modernized very luxurious sophisticated yet extremely masculine smell so it lends itself to extreme variety of wear so that's what's really good about uomo extremely and this is the pillar fragrance right so the expectation is when a fragrance is released that fragrance is the pillar fragrance anything else the flankers are kind of derivative now i don't know that that's going to be the case today i, I have high hopes for urban feel and casual life but it's possible they may just be derivative because this is going to be really hard to to beat and or copy so let's see where it goes this one though i can tell similar to the way signature gave off waves of projection this is kind of doing the same thing it's extreme it's coming off extremely warm on the skin somewhat cinnamony somewhat gourmand without being gourmand if that makes a sense kind of like a sporty gourmand more like a, an action-oriented fragrance as opposed to the the sweet dark winter fragrance that is signature so this is not signature this is its own genre it's definitely its own stands up on its own two feet for sure this this is what started it all so and, and i can tell i can see why so i i can't necessarily speak to the projection or longevity of any of these but i can tell this one is going to be really really good probably a little bit better than average to above average on longevity and on projection it's chock full of some really good notes this is said to imbue all the optimism and joy of a real smile of a genuine smile we all like to see genuine smiles in people we all like to smile genuinely ourselves this actually I, I can see that i know it sounds kind of cheesy as all adverts are as all campaigns kind of have that cheesy edge to it for the ultra modern man who wants to have a boat and a car rolls royce and three wives it's, it's just all kind of silly but i like this i like the joy and optimism are all good you know features or adjectives to use in reference to how a fragrance a man's fragrance is going to make you feel so uomo you're a hit as far as I'm concerned. It does feature notes of black pepper, cardamom, and bergamot in the top. And in the mid, you get tiramisu, orange blossom, and that ambroxan that I was talking about that modernizes it. And finally, in the base, we have cashmere wood, sandalwood, and a tonic note in there as well. All of these are fantastically blended together to bring you something that is ultra modern. It is ultra versatile can be used in in really any weather uh, i wouldn't say that it's a hot weather fragrance but you can definitely use this in summer spring and fall excellent winter perfect so it lends itself to a broad broad variety of uses and wear and highly recommend salvatore ferragamo's P pillar fragrance uomo all right guys next up we're going to feature salvatore ferragamo's uomo casual life so let me get the cellophane off and I'll show you the, the box presentation. Okay, again, you've got, this one is all silver. So you've got the Salvatore Ferragamo on the top of the silver box. On the bottom, you've got the batch code and the UPC with product information. And on the front, you've got the same Ferragamo logo with additional information. The very back has a UPC code with the signature and some additional product information. So not a, just the typical box, not a ton of information there. So we're gonna take it right out. Again, you've got those wonderful instructions if you're ever confused about how to spray one of these awesome bottles. And I do think these bottles are awesome. Some people may not like the structure and the make of them, but I think that's really part of the appeal are the bottles themselves. I mean, look at this, who would not like that? Who would not like that? You can see the juice through it you can see that it's solid silver on the side with the Ferragamo the way the name is do both sides there it's 
pretty cool. Uh, you've got kind of a black and silver on the top of the cap there. I, I, I like that. And then of course the stamp on the very bottom there. Hope you can see that by the way. My autofocus does work usually work pretty good, but if you ever can't see, just let me know and I can redo it. So again, you pull the pin just like a fragrance grenade. And we're gonna try this out on this wrist here. So let's give it the three pump try. One, two, oh, on the second pump. These atomizers are really good. They spray a good bit of juice. I don't know if you can see, but that's a good, oh wow. Okay, so very bright opening. Very citrusy, very fresh, very aquatic. I definitely get the water notes in there. Okay, so this is definitely, Casual Life is definitely heading for the spring and summer freshy. So it's vying for attention on the freshy market or what we term blue fragrance. So it's kind of blue, it's not super clear. The, the juice inside itself is a little bit blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a blue fragrance and it smells blue. You know, you've got the aquatic, the watery notes. It's got a really bright burst of citrus in there, a little bit of bergamot. There is a little, actually there's a, a hint of coffee. I haven't looked up the notes yet, but unless that's just from actual uh, Uomo, it's still in my nose, but I'm getting a little bit of bean, coffee bean in there. L let's take a look at the notes and see if, if I'm correct about that. So in the top, you've got lemon, violet leaf, and cardamom. In the middle, you do have coffee. I was right, you've got coffee, you've got uh, geranium, I think, and ambroxan. And in the base, you've got cashmere wood, white cedar, and musk. I really do like this. Now, the open is amazing on this. The open often does dry down into a less than stellar. A lot of freshies are like politicians. They make all these great promises to get you bought in to their agenda and then you get bought in and all of a sudden you're like, but where are the fulfillment of these promises? A lot of freshies are like that. Let's, let's find out if this is like that. Now I'm not gonna be wearing this long enough to give you any kind of idea of projection and longevity, but I do wanna see what the dry down does in reference to the, that open, that, that beginning, that impressive opening, that spritz of citrus and juices and bright watery notes. Okay, it is already drying down to a little bit less than, a, a lot less actually than what the top was. It does maintain a little bit of that coffee in there, which I do like that. That is a part of the scent profile for the Womo line, uh, that coffee note. So that makes me happy, that makes me happy. There aren't a lot of freshies that feature a coffee note and that, that pull it off really well, that stay away from the gourmand and yet they stay in the lane of freshies and this is so far succeeding. So I really do like casual life. It again, as most freshies are, that lends itself to spring and summer wear. It is active wear. It is, as the name implies, casual wear. However, you could wear this to the office. It's not cloying, it's not super strong. It's not gonna be anything that chokes someone out or, or makes someone you know not wanna be around you unless you just completely overspray it. I don't think this is gonna have any kind of supreme longevity or the kind of projection that pushes people away from your bubble. So if anything, it will just invite them in. So casual life, also great flanker, great blind buy. I really like it. And of course, I'll do a full on review of all of these later on to speak to that longevity and that projection. But right now, it's just a guess, honestly. All right, let's check out Urban Feel. Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Urban Feel. Urban is one of those words like masculine that just gets bandied around and used and used and overused. It's like the word modern. What does it really mean, urban? Well, you're gonna be an urban man. <laughs> so whatever, that's fine. We like those kind of adjectives and descriptives. This particular box features a bright blue. It is what I call metallic blue. So that's really nice. You can see the Ferragamo Uomo on the front, the logo, same on the top, except it is silver against the blue background. Nothing on the sides. On the back, you just have the signature, the UPC product information, and on the very bottom, the batch code with the UPC and additional product information. 
So let's get this bad boy out of the box and look at the bottle. So I have really, really enjoyed all of these bottles. And since I've done this on each one of these, I'm not gonna leave this one out. I'll show you the instructions on how to actual spray, <laughs> actually spray there. So let's take this bottle out of here. Wow, nice, nice. Urban feel, it has a blue, it is not clear, it is solid. And I will show you the front, urban feel. I see the Ferragamo on the sides there, one side other side it is still silver silver and blue the ferragamo on the cap there and it is protected by the fragrance pin we got six seconds before it explodes now since I've used both my wrists I don't want to get the smell super close so I'm going to use it on my forearm here actually this forearm because my mic is right here and I don't want to mess that up so let's give it a shot a lot of juice okay wow this one is very warm woody warm woody and cedar a lot I like that I like that a lot it's almost like so let's say you're you're stuck in the house with your family and and when I say family I mean your grandparents your parents are there and everybody wants to play a board game and so you're told to go upstairs and get into the big cedar box and get out one of the old board games to play. So you get up there and you get into the old cedar box and all of a sudden everything smells like old, like cedar, but it's like a bright green cedar. It's almost like a Christmas tree. This has a very bright spruce, like a blue spruce green, green, which is interesting because it's in a blue bottle, but it is very bright green fragrance. I don't know what the notes are it's in this so let's take a look i'm very intrigued by this quite intrigued actually because it does come right off the skin so whatever's in it is pushing it right off the skin into my nose this is going to have really good projection and it might even have good longevity because it has a really nice bright green smell that captures your attention immediately so let's see what notes are in it so in the open the top you do have clary sage you've got bergamot again you've got that coffee which is awesome that this is in the open so you've got that coffee note that's in all of these. That's the tangent that which they all meet is coffee. Awesome, let's all meet together and have a cup, cup of coffee and a conversation. That's what Womo is all about. In the mid, you've got cumin, you've got a driftwood, like a woody driftwood smell. And you've also got the cedar that I was talking about. Now the cedar is right there in the open as well. It's a very bright cedar, so you get that in the top, mid, and base as well. You get that throughout the whole top to the dry down. In the base, you've got ambroxan, labdanum, uh, incense, and patchouli. So this is an extremely well-rounded fragrance as well. It is a lot brighter. Let me see where it's at. Ah, I love that. I love that. This is, uh, to me, when I smell this, I just, I see the color green because it's very, this very blue sprucey. Well, there you go, blue spruce, blue spruce and, and green, of course, are related on the color wheel, obviously. Can't have one without the other. So, if you like bright fragrances, then you're going to really like this. Now, because that is super bright and it is very colorful in the nose and it does have that coffee note in it, it's again going to be very, very uh, casual. This is more casual than formal. This is going to be good for everyday wear. It's going to be good for office wear, but it also is gonna, lends itself to a variety of seasons too. I think all of these are going to be all season, just like an all weather tire. <laughs> all season. Actually, that does look like tire tread on the side, doesn't it? A little bit. Kind of reminds me of that, like an all weather tire. But these are going to be all weather or all season fragrances. I don't think that there's a particular season that these are specifically canted for with the exception of signature signature is primarily a fall and winter fragrance owing to the fact that it is a gourmand fragrance these are very bright these are very fresh very green very masculine they don't have that soapy sudsy out of the shower shower gel smell and i do really like that about them because a lot of freshies kind of fall into that category these belie that category i like that about them very much all right, guys, that's going to be it for my first impressions of the Womo line. And that is Womo, the casual life and urban feel. So you haven't gotten any of these or if you've tried them out, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. If you have others that you like better or you think are similar, also let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for coming along today and watching me. I really appreciate your support. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you next time.